Hello, my fellow Reefians. Uh, welcome to this how-to video on how to claim an EVM address for your Reef Chain wallet. Why would you want to do this? So there's one really important reason. The Reef Chain is built on Parity Substrate. The wallet format usually starts with a 5P, something like that, and is longer than a uh, the type of wallet address you see traditionally on Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, and other Ethereum virtual machine compatible blockchains. Reef has an Ethereum virtual machine running on top of it. Why? So that other developers can bring their Solidity smart contracts or Viper smart contracts over to Reef without having to rewrite them in another language. This makes deployment fast, easy, inexpensive, and accelerates those same transactions, those same contracts on Reef. They run much faster and a lot less expensively. So this broadens the reach for Reef and makes it possible for you to do all sorts of different things on Reef Chain without having to go to other blockchains. However, what that means is that you can actually have multiple addresses for the same wallet. Your Reef Chain wallet will still retain that same parity substrate format for the wallet address, and you can bind an Ethereum VM compatible wallet address to that Reef Chain wallet. And that's needed to interact with uh, dApps like Squid and others that are coming to Reef Chain in the near future. Uh, so that you can do those Ethereum VM, uh, you can operate those Ethereum contracts on Reef. So let's see really quickly how to bind uh, an EVM address to your Reef Chain wallet. All right, here I am on app.reef.io. I'm on the dashboard. I've already created a new wallet just for this called the Video Wallet. And I've already loaded it up with some Reef that I'm going to use to pay for the transaction fees. I did all that using Reef chain native wallet addresses from one wallet to another. So um, right here on the dashboard, you'll see in the bottom right corner that this, this wallet does not have an Ethereum VM address and I'm being prompted, prompted to register one. So I click here on register EVM address and it tells me why. So I can start using EVM smart contracts on Reef. Uh, this is the wallet I want to connect to that EVM address. Click continue. And I'm prompted for my password for my account to keep things secure. So I'm going to type that in And I'm going to sign the transaction. Uh, you can see the Genesis smart contract for this, the app that is generating the transaction, uh, and a few other things. And so I'm going to sign the transaction. And in just a few seconds, I will have an EVM address binded, bound <laughs> to this Reef Chain address. There we go, just one reef just left my wallet, 1.4. <laughs> and now I have an Ethereum VM address. I can also copy it. There we go. And I can see it in here. There you go. Only for reef chain. That's it. That's all you have. Uh, that's that's all there is to it. Uh, uh, one reef or so, maybe a couple of reef. That's all it takes to bind an EVM address to your reef chain wallet, and uh, and then you'll have the ability to uh, to use EVM contracts on reef chain. I hope you found that super helpful. And if you have any questions, please join Reef's Discord community or the Telegram group, and we'll be happy to help you. Have a great day.